Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the volume of some basic shapes in math like volume of cylinder, volume of sphere, volume of cube and volume of cuboid. Keep this in your mind that you, ha you have to find the volume of always three dimensional objects. All these four are, are the three dimensional objects. For volume, the object should be three dimensional. You cannot find the volume of a two dimensional object or you can say a two um, dimensional object don't have the volume. Why? Because volume represents how much material an object can carry. So two dimensional object cannot carry any material can only be carried by a three-dimensional object. So in simple words you can say that a volume represents the amount of space in a 3D object. All these are the 3D objects and we will see how you can find the volume of these 3D objects. So first of all we will start with the volume of the cylinder and let's see how you can do this. So a cylindrical shape has some height h and radius r. Height h and radius r. So from these two values you can find the volume. So let's see what's the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder. Volume is equals to V is equals to pi R square H. So this is the formula of the volume of the cylinder where pi is the uh, pi is a constant having the value 3.14. R is the radius that will be given if, uh, if whenever you will be asked to find the volume of the cylinder. So R is the radius and H is the height. So let's see if you are given with the height of 10 like height is equals to 10 centimeter and radius is equals to 7 centimeter. So how you can find its volume. So volume is equals to pi is 3.14 it's constant multiplied by r square r is 7 centimeter and height h is 10 centimeter. So you just need to multiply them together and you will get the volume of the given cylinder. So V is equals to 1540 cubic centimeter. Keep this in mind. The volume is always will have the unit of cubic centimeter or cubic meter. It depends which unit is given. So V is equals to 1540 cubic centimeter. This is the volume of the given cylinder. Now let's move towards the volume of a sphere. Sphere is a three dimensional object. So as it looks like a circle, but it is not a circle. It's a three dimensional object and um, just like a ball and ball is also a sphere that is also a three-dimensional object and you will be asked to find the volume of a ball or volume of a sphere you need a formula so let's see what is the formula of finding the volume of a sphere so volume is equals to 4 by 3 pi r q so we have we also have a constant 4 by 3 uh, pi pi multiplied by 4 by 3 and r is the radius as it's a sphere and it's it's a round solid figure so we will consider its radius as it's every point is equidistant from the center so we we have radius like this is a radius and if you'll be given with the radius only of a sphere you can easily find the volume of that sphere is equals to r is equals to 8 meter so the volume then will be v is equals to 4 by 3 multiplied by 3.14 multiplied by r cube so the volume we get is v is equals to approximately equals to 2145 cubic meter here we we were given with the meter so in uh, while finding the volume we must have a cube in the unit so it's cubic meter so this is the volume of a sphere so for uh, finding the volume of a sphere you just need the radius keep this in mind next we have we have to find the volume of a cube now don't get confused about the cube and cuboid there is a video on my channel where you can see how cube different uh, is different from the cuboid and i'll also tell in this lecture that how cube is different from the cuboid so while finding for volume of a cube First of all, you should know what is cube. Cube is basically a three-dimensional object uh, that is bounded by faces, edges and the vertices and its all sides must be equal. For a cube, all sides must be equal. So here, this side, this side, this side, this side, all these are equal. Similarly here, similarly here, similarly here, all these sides are equal of the cube. So whenever you came across a 3D object whose all the sides are equal, are equal and all the faces are of are of square shape then you must know that this is a cube so for volume of a cube what you need is the length of of length of any of the side as all the sides are equal if you know one side length you can easily multiply it by three to, to get the volume of the cube so its formula is volume is equals to v is equals to any side and take its cube it means multiply the three sides of the cube or you can say if you have any face 
if you can if you if you are given with any of its one value of the side you can multiply that value by itself three times then you will get the volume of the cube if i say the the measurement of this side is 5 5 cm then it means all its sides will be of 5 cm so i don't need any other side to find the volume so for that purpose we just need side is equals to 5 cm so its volume will be 5 cube 5 cm cube it will be equals to 525 cubic cm so this is the volume of the given cube so in order to identify a cube you must know that all its sides must be of equal length and the face faces must be of the square shape like this is the face so this is a square this is the face this is also a square that is of all all of equal length so it's a cube then we move towards the volume of a cuboid the last one so what is cuboid basically for finding the volume of a cuboid you must know what is cuboid so in cuboid all the side lengths of the cuboid are of different measure you can't say here just like in cube that are all the sides are of equal length its faces are not of square shape its all faces are not of square shape these are of different lengths so for volume of the cuboid we have the formula as volume is equals to length into breadth into height because all the sides are of different lengths so we need to multiply the all we need to multiply all the sides if i label them here as this is l this is b and this is height so length breadth and height so if you have all these three values you can easily find the volume of a cuboid and keep this in mind in cuboid these are of different measure as compared to the cube so if you are given with the value of l b and h you can easily find the volume of a cuboid so let's say l is equals to 5 cm b is equals to 2 cm and h is equals to 3 cm so what we will get is the volume of a cuboid as v is equals to 5 into 2 into 3 equals to 30 cubic cm so this is how you can find the volume of the of these four different 3d objects um, that are most commonly you came across that's all from today's lecture thank you